before we start wrapping up, I wanted to get your thoughts on the future of magic. The way I see it these days is that with the internet and everyone's access to so much information, anyone can now Google a lot of the 80% of the magic tricks that they see on stage. So magicians constantly have this pressure to keep reinventing and also not just reinventing, but push themselves physically to do physical fees, something like what David Blaine does, and also develop more gadgets and the technology behind it. So the kind of stage props that you build or the machine that you have a glass box, but it has so many compartments and things like that. Very characteristic of what Houdini used to do in the past as well. Where do you think the future of magic is going now with the internet and this kind of YouTube, TikTok, and people just doing tricks here and there? Do you think with time, magic like what David Blaine does where physical stunts and pushing your body because he's really learning how to breathe underwater or putting live frogs in his stomach or now recently where he held the balloons and he just flew up. Do you think magic is going to go more towards physical achievements and technological achievements or there, there will still be the simple tricks around? Now, to, to go back to a history of magic, cinema actually was created by a magician. Cinema was just a screen that a train used to just pass through the screen. That was a short film, like just train goes and people are watching and they are mesmerized. How is that happening? Yes. Yeah. But that was a magician who created it. Right. So technology is always used and different fields of science, physics, chemistry, ma mathematics used by magicians to create a magical effect. So we are usually having our antennas on, looking for anything that we could use that could create magic and show us as a futurist that could do stuff. Yes, if you saw the illusionist movie, the person supposedly his lover wasn't there, but he created this hologram sort of showing that she was there, but then she was not dead by the end of the movie. So we are there with technology. We always use the newest thing that's out there to create a magical experience. Now, the way that I think for a magician to do magic that it works for him, he should be so creative to either create a magic that could not be replicated by somebody who's doing a TikTok video or do a spiritual deep magic where you could touch somebody personally in some way that there is no search on Google would explore, would explore that magic. Now, before having the YouTube out, the TikTok there and all these social media platforms, we also faced another challenge as magicians. There was this guy, the masked magician, yeah. that came out and started exposing, exposing lots of the magic he tricks. He has a that, show called Secrets of the Magician sure. Finally Revealed, right? Yes. The documentary series. For sure. Yes. So he was going and revealing all the secrets of David Copperfield, David Blaine, yes. you know, Chris Angel, everybody else. Uh, and that did put the magicians on the spot to go and either create better magic or do magic that he will not be able to go and reveal. So that was a challenge that we, the first we faced as magicians to protect our art. Of course, now you can go on TikTok and just create a two second video and you're doing magic. But we now, of course, facing a challenge there. And that's what is pushing the magician to become a better magician and not just a person who does a couple of card tricks and goes and claims to be a known magician. Because that card trick is going to be revealed in two minutes on YouTube or if you just check the comments and somebody's revealing it anyway. So that's what I also go do. When I go on TV, I try, or, or with yourself or with anybody else, I try and do magic that if somebody watches goes, mm, okay, you know what, in the comments just write how it was done. I try and do things that, you know, that is a little bit more real than finding it on YouTube.